What's going on guys, it's Jane Toto Gaming here and I'm back with another video. Um, this one we're going to be going with uh, where you can find each one of these shards like in everywhere that I know you can get them. Now there's a few ways you can we can um, do this. We can even just go into each part, show you what you can get and show you the different shards you can get. The way I'm going to be breaking this down is I'm going to be starting at mystery shards and working my way up to sacreds. Uh, which means a lot of this is going to be repeating itself unfortunately. So this might be a bit of a longer video but... I'm, I'm probably going to repeat myself a little bit, but the reason I'm going to do this is say someone wants void shards, they can then skip to the timestamps or the breakdowns that I'm going to be below and just watch everywhere you can get void shards instead of having to skip through and for this, 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 and this. Um, but yeah, so we're going to just get straight into this, right? Mystery shards. Now, mystery shards in general are probably considered the worst shards just because you cannot get epic legendaries. However, if you can try to keep a big amount of them just sitting here, it's always going to be helpful for fusions, food, or anything like that, because they're the most easiest to come across. Um, of course, you can really only get commons and uncommons, with the odd chance of getting a rare. Now, where can you get mystery shards? Well, the main two areas I happen to get most of mine are from the market, where you can see I've already purchased one. But you can purchase 5k at, in the market. You can get, as far as I'm aware, unlimited amounts in the market a month. The other place you can also get them that I get them a lot is from Campaign. Um, I obviously you find 12 free brutal a lot. And if you find a campaign, you're obviously gonna get some silver, some artifacts, some chance, but you also occasionally get some mystery shards. Um if you're gonna be farming campaign, I'll release another video on some of your best campaign farmers in another time. But for now, we're not gonna go over that too much. Um besides that. Early on, um, before you start getting into the later part, you can also get them from dungeons. Um, I don't know off the top of my head which dungeon they stop at. I believe it's around 10 to 13 they stop. I believe with these, you stop getting mystery shards at stage 13. Um, but I don't remember all of that off the top of my head. If someone does, you can leave it in the comments below. Also with mystery shards, uh, you can get them from the shop here. You can get one per day just from the shop here, um, which isn't massive, but you can get one there. Now, onto the ancient shards. Ancient shards here have a 91% chance to drop a rare, 8% to drop an epic, and a 0.5% chance to drop the legendary. Um, they are probably the best shard that you're going to consistently get early on. And even to the mid game, until you start farming uh, later versions of Clan Boss, which we'll get to later, ancient shards you are probably going to be the main shard you're finding. Now, where can you get ancient shards? Well, again, you can get them from the market. You can get five per month from the market. Uh, you can get no more, but you can get less depending on how often you're playing and how often you check the market. But at, at least you can get about five. Um, you can also get them weekly from your ancient shot here. I just claimed mine not long ago. And so yeah, you can get them also from there. Um, besides buying them, which we're not gonna go over buying them, you can get the occasional ancient shot from missions. As you see, I've got a mission coming up soon, Diffuse Rosin. Um, you can find those. You can also see there's a sacred and a void there, but we'll, again, we'll go over that very quickly when we get to those. But you can, you know, depending on where you're on the missions, you can get a couple of ancients, like there's another one there, and so on. You can also get them from quest. Um, every time you finish your weekly, you will get yourself an ancient shard, which means roughly every, you can at least get two ancient shards per week. Um, there's also a challenge to see. Um, I'll quickly hop on my uh, free to play um, and quickly just show you what the challenges look like um, after this real quick. Um, but yeah, so yeah, do you have challenges here? That will also give you ancient shards and the other shards, but we'll go over those eight other shards um, when we get to those. Um, as you see, I don't have that here because I've already finished all the challenges that you can get. So as I said, I'll quickly show you the challenges. Um, Quickly hopped on my free to play for the whole Hades uh, thing. As you see, you got challenges here where you can get books, books, but you can also get shards depending on where you are. You can get some of these will give you some, some uh, ancient shards, void shards, sacred shards. You get a mixture of all three. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to quickly show you guys that before I hop back onto. Um, the main account and show you the rest of where all these shards are but just keep in mind whenever I refer to a challenges section being there in the future parts of this video 
that's where I mean. So yes, if you come in a clan and you go on the members here and you claim this, occasionally you can also get yourself a, a ancient shard from there as well. You also get some ancient shards from campaign from the challenges down here. Unfortunately, you cannot see them, but down here you do get a few ancient shards whilst you freestyle a campaign. Um, as you can see, I'm at the point where I can no longer see those, but yes. Um, dungeons, you can start getting ancient shards, I believe, from about stage 14 onwards. Um, I think these might be a little bit earlier. I think on my free to play, I'm farming about stage 10 to 12, and I'm getting some ancient shards every so often. But, um, so yeah, you can get ancient shards from all four of these and all of these. Um, I don't think you can get them from any of the other ones, as far as I'm aware. But yeah, from I think stage 14 and onwards, you can get ancient shards. Um, obviously you want to do your best to start farming at least stage 20 and above, but yeah, so stage 14 or 16 and onwards, you can start getting ancient shots from here, whilst also getting your gear. Um, you can also get them, I believe, from Faction Wars, if you quickly check, you can see early on, you can get a couple of ancient shots. You also see that you start getting the other shots here and there. Um, obviously, I haven't done my Faction Wars yet today. Um, you can also get them from Arena. Um, if you go your tears, you know, your first, I believe it's all bronze, you'll get a ancient shard, even all a silver, you'll get a potential of an ancient shard. And when you get the gold, you start also getting void shards. Um, you also can get them from tag team arena, from the Brazzers here, uh, where you can buy it for 1200 gold. Um, you can also buy the other ones, but again, we'll get to those when we get to them. Um, clan boss, you can also get them obviously from clan boss. I am unsure if you can get them from Hydra, but no. Okay, so obviously when you're attacking clan boss, from even from your first chest you get, you have a chance of ancient shards. I believe you can get them all the way through. Yep. So no matter what you're getting, as long as you're getting a chest, there is a chance of an ancient shard from all of these. Um. You also can get them from Doom Tower. Now, I've already completed the normal Doom Tower, so you can't see the rewards, but some of these rewards do have a shot on normal. Um, if we check hard real quick, which I'm stuck at this, like at a certain floor, and we quickly just have a look, you'll see that, as far as I can see, there is no ancient shards, um, but you do get the higher shards that we'll go over later. Um, but yeah, so you can, in normal, you can get a few ancient shards from here as well as other resources. Um, I think that goes over everywhere that you consistently can get ancient shards. Obviously, tournaments and events, keep an eye out for those, because sometimes you can get ancient shards from them as well. On to the void shards, which have the same rarity as ancient shards. So with void shards, it's the only place you can get the void champions. Now, what are void champions? This that have no effect, bad or positive affinity matchup. They are completely neutral all around. Um, a lot of void champions are great, like this Marichka, for example, is one of the best arena champions. So yeah, so obviously void champions, not easy to come by, but are champions people really want. Now, where can you get them? Well, you can obviously, again, get them from monthly. Uh, every, every time you click 30 days, you'll get yourself a void and a sacred shard. Um, you can also obviously get them from missions. As you can see, I have one here to um, collect when I finish these three missions in front. And there'll be a few more to get. Uh, in that challenger spot that I spoke of before, they also exist in there. And you can get them from there as well. Again, tournaments and events have a chance to get them. Alright, if you go to the clan here and you come into the clan shop. Not in my clan shop at the moment, but if you go to item pool, you do have a void shard that you can get from there. Um, obviously, if you go into campaign, you can get void shards from here as well. Um, which we currently cannot see because I'm yet to, uh, I, I've gotten past those. Faction Wars, you can get Void Shards here um, from getting your stars. Um, arena, obviously, you can get Void Shards whenever you in gold. As you can see, I'm gold free, and there's Void Shards and, uh, the, and fucking Ancient Shards as well. You can also get Void Shards from Silver on the Tag Team Arena, and you can also get Void Shards from the Clan Boss, um, I believe, from Hard and Above. Maybe even normal and above, even from normal and above, which is relatively early game, um, you can start getting yourself void shards. Now, obviously, the high go up, the it's the increase of void shards 
um, goes up as well. But from normal and above, you can start getting yourself void shards and getting yourself those epical void champions. Um, Doom Tower as well. Um, obviously, during the Doom Tower waves, you get void shards. You get one at the end as well. But if you get a hard, obviously, you got some void shards in here as well. Um, now, that wraps up everywhere. I believe you can get void shards. Um, so now we can go on to the sacred shards. Now, sacred shards are the best shards in the game in terms of getting legendaries and they have the best chances. And if you're not getting a legendary, you can get an epic and some epics are just as good, if not better, than a legendary. For example, Royal Guard. Um, now, we're going to get sacred, similar to the ancients. I think to the uh, void, you can get them once a month from uh, you know, doing your monthly challenges. Um, as long as you keep doing these, you can get this. Now, you can also get them from the missions. As you can see, I'm currently working towards one now. And you can get a few more on the way as far as I'm aware. Um, let me just check. Well, not here, but I know sometimes you can get a few more on the way. Obviously, again, the challenges that I've showed you before, you can get them there as well. Um, again, very occasionally you can get a few events tournaments. Um, get them through doing your campaign at the end. You'll get one second shot for Nightmare, Brutal, and Hard. So you can get free from your campaign. Through your dungeons, you cannot get them. Through your faction wars, you can obviously, if we go down here, you can maybe get a few. Like you can get one there, you can get three there, one there, as as long as some other very useful rewards. Um, in Arena, you can only get them, in Classic Arena, you can only get them if you finish Platinum, which finishing Platinum is a mission in itself. Um, you can also get them from the Tag Team if you finish, if you are in Gold on your Tag Team, and you can get them there. Now, you can also get them from the Clan Boss, only from as far as I'm aware, Nightmare and above. Yep. So if you can go Nightmare and above, you can start getting Sacred Shards. If you can down both Nightmare and Ultra Nightmare, then you will get more Sacred Shards. Um, and this will end up becoming your best source of farming Sacred Shards, just so you're aware. As soon as you start downing Nightmare and Ultra Nightmare, it is the best place to get Sacred Shards. Now, Doom Tower. I don't believe you get any from Normal. I don't remember off the top of my head. But I know you can get a few from here, as you can get one there and get one here. Um, and that will be everywhere that you can get Sacred Shards. Now, Sacred Shards in uh, the toughest to get a fuck ton of. Um, you can easily get more Voids and Ancients, but however, you want obviously you want Sacreds because they can get you Secret Legendaries a bit better. And obviously, it's not like the Legendaries in there will be any worse than some Void Legendaries. When you think about some of the best Legendaries being... No Void Divinity, like Prince Kaima, Mortu Macab, and many, many more. Like, even, so yeah, obviously you're still wanting to get those as much as you can. Um, so yeah, with all of that being said, guys, I hope anyone found this whole video useful or where you can find yourself some shards. Um, I know this should be handy for those newer players that are wondering, why am I not getting sacred or more voids in the, in the market, and I'm getting Ancients and Mysteries, or... Why can I not get sacred from dungeons and all of those questions that some new players may ask? So I hope that video was handy. Um, I should have more videos coming out after this. Um, I'm hoping to do a where should you farm guide in terms of some of the best areas to farm. Um, or as well as I'm hoping to do a what are the best campaign farmers video. So, yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, guys, feel free to hit that like button, subscribe. Uh, follow my Twitch. I'm trying to stream there most days. I'll catch you guys in the next.